Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for stopping by today. I really do appreciate your time and support on the channel. So today we are going to be doing a little look with the Colourpop Truly Madly Deeply palette. I've been looking forward to using this for a while. Um, I really don't know how many looks I'm going to be able to do with it. It's got 16 eyeshadows in it. So it looks like that. I'll probably do another look tomorrow and then I'll see how I feel. I don't know if I'll carry it on to next weekend as well because I can only really film at the weekends. Um, so I'm definitely going to use this one today, Mr Sandman. That's a shade that's in the It's My Pleasure palette and that was... Uh, when I was going to get the It's My Pleasure palette I was going to get it for that particular shade because it's a duo chrome. Um, so let's just get some brushes out, that should be enough. Um, right, so first of all I'm going to go in, where's my colour switch? So I'm just going to wipe the colour off this non-branded brush, it's supposed to be like the Real Techniques one um, that they brought out a few years back now, the Bold Metals. So I'm going to go in with the shade here, this cream ivory shade, it's just called Matter of Fact. Um, and yeah, it's, it's quite nice. Just a cream ivory shade, nothing to write on about really. I've been really, really sick. When I say sick, I pulled my back on. I pulled my back at work on Wednesday. That job for me, guys. I don't think it's the right environment. It's just, it's very male orientated. The females that come through last the day. I've been there two and a half weeks at this point. They last the day and then they leave. Um, so I don't have any female company and that's not why I go to work anyway. I go to work to do my job and come home. Um, but it would be nice to have someone to talk to. Um, the men that work there are quite crude as well. Um, like I say, it's a very, it's kind of a very male orientated job. It's very heavy lifting and I pulled my back. So yesterday I couldn't even go into work. I didn't even have a number to reach my supervisor on, so that looks quite bad in itself. Um, but I mean, what can I do? I mean, I knew when I was at my mum's doing her tablets, I couldn't even bend down to pick up her tablets without being in excruciating pain. So I knew that I wouldn't be able to lift 25 or 40 kilos. I mean, it's just too much, you know, for a woman to lift, I feel like. I feel like unless you're a female bodybuilder you, you're just not going to be able to lift that amount i feel like it's just a good job for men to have i mean it's it's quite good money um it's it but it has to be doesn't it you know to work those hours and do that job has to be there has to be some the, there has to be some incentive for it um so yeah not feeling the best and I also feel really really dizzy today as well don't know what's wrong with me maybe I'm just coming down with something but my I've got back problems for sure so I don't know what I'm gonna do I, I feel like I should be looking for another job um, with a different agency or maybe even the same agency but he's been quite crap with me to be honest you know he's not been replying to my messages um, and I've sent him two now and he's replied to everyone else's so I don't know what that's about but yeah um, now we're going to go in to lay low I think this nice transition shade um, so I'm not even sure I want to work for that agency anymore so I have been applying for work elsewhere I don't think I'll get a job by Monday we're on Friday now That's not the right brush to blend it out with. I'm going to go in with this more fluffy brush. Then we'll use that same brush again but blend it out. 
with the Morphe one because I like how it applies with this brush. I just don't really like how it blends out. Okay, so let's blend it out with that same brush. Oh, this mirror, by the way, if you're not a regular watcher, this is off Karen, my friend, who's just been messaging me. Absolutely love it. It's so cute. It's so thoughtful of her to buy it for me. If you're from if you're from the UK though, and you wanted this. Um, but don't want to spend ridiculous amounts of money from Colourpop. Beauty Boxes by Tammy have got this in stock at quite a good price. I think it's twelve ninety nine, And she's also got the newer Hocus Pocus palettes as well. Which I was going to get but then I saw some swatches on YouTube. And the darker mattes look patchy. Um, I think there's a purple one and then like a green one. And it looked really really patchy. So I just thought to myself... Do I really want it? Um, I need that Sigma pencil brush. Every time I lean forward, it it like pulls from where I've hurt it. Right. So what are we using now? Maybe go in with Pretty Cruel, this one down here, and then go in with Too Much, this one here. Let's see. Go on with Pretty Cruel though first and see how deep that is. It's pretty deep. So, are you guys going to any fancy dress parties for Halloween? I'm not. I've never been to a fancy dress party. Right, and then I'm going to blend that one out with this. I think it's a clean spectrum brush, but I'm just running it through the colour switch just in case. I got this in a, either a glossy box or a birch box. It's really good. Didn't like it at first. Nice shade that. Then I'm going to go back into Pretty Cruel for the left eye. I've not been using tape. Do you know how I used to use tape to get that really precise wing? Now when I wore makeup for work, I didn't want it to be that noticeable and I've not been using it. And this is like second nature now not to use the tape. But to try and get that wing anyway. It's ridiculous this, I can't even sit for a few minutes without being in pain, it's just... Right, there's fallout with this, but not on the left eye. Just there, can you see it on the right eye? Um. Let's get a brush. I don't know how I'm expected to go back to work on Monday when I can't even sit in a chair. Me and my mum were supposed to be going to Manchester but I just feel like I should be resting this weekend. I think we're going to go out for a meal on Saturday night instead of like spending a load of cash on makeup. I'm going to take her out for a meal. Um, so yeah, I think I'll do that instead. Right, so let's try this too much. Which is just a little bit deeper. I 
Um, um, right, so now then, I'm going to get that small Anastasia brush, I think, because that's been working... Yeah, this brush here, this Anastasia one, has been working really, really well for shimmers. And we're going to go into this beautiful shade down here, which is a purple duochrome. Um, and it's called Mr. Sandman. Might have to spritz it. I will have to to get it a little bit more metallic than this. I'm loving sitting down with you guys. All I've been able to film recently is swatch party videos, which I really enjoy doing as well. And a lot of you guys really liked my Matrix one. So thank you for all the love that you showed me on that video. I mean it's not had a ton of it's not had a ton of views, but it's had more than my other videos would normally get. So let me know if you've got this truly madly deeply palette. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. It is a little bit more metallic. Look how crumbly it's gotten. That's a lot of a waste of eyeshadow. I'm going to try and put it back into the pan. And try and put that on my eye. Oh, darn it. Right, let's put some more of that Cream Ivory shade on, matter of fact. Okay, and then we need to get some inner corner highlight shade. The lightest shade I can see is Sweet Dreams, so let's try that. Mm, it's more of a, like, peachy gold shade. I think I've got a highlighter. I'm not liking that as a inner corner highlight, but I've got this on today. Um, so we'll use Mary Lou and hopefully that'll make it look a bit better. Okay. Right. Now we need to get my liner brush by BH Cosmetics and I'm going to mix those two shades, Pretty Cruel and Too Much, I'll mix them together. See, the thing is, I can't do my shot my stash video until I've used this palette. Right, let's wipe the fallout off. Okay, so now mascara time. So we're going to go in firstly with the Maybelline Total Temptation which by itself I've said before I'm not a fan of it right where's the other one can't find my other mascara Right, 
I think it's just a case of putting a second coat of this on then. Now I've got to decide what lipstick I want to wear. Maybe this one, Exotic by NYX Lingerie. everywhere so those deeper shades are not the best because they do have a lot of fallout um, so this one is in the shade exotic I think I just said that right and then that is the finished look so guys this is what the overall look looks like this is the beautiful beautiful palette so yeah um i am tempted to use this one tomorrow this blossom shade that looks really really nice a bit powdery though hmm yeah, that one's quite powdery, but I might use it. Maybe mix those two tomorrow because that one's got that kind of like peachy undertone to it. So sweet dreams and blossom and then obviously with a couple of these mats, maybe cutouts um, and then this Golden Gate Bridge one. Um, I haven't fully decided yet. We've used the darker shades so maybe I'll use the lighter shades and then we'll call it done with the palette um, and then we can do a new shot my stash for the upcoming week then I think it will have been like three weeks since my last shot my stash hey guys welcome back to the channel or oh, welcome if you're new here thank you for joining me so today is the last look I think with the truly madly deeply palette so we're only doing two days two looks of this entire palette I just don't know I don't know whether to keep it in for another day because we have got some really really pretty shades we've got jackpot misty and then blossom up here and sweet dreams are really nice as well but that's jackpot that's misty wondering if to use them today no, we'll do these two, like I said in yesterday's video. So we'll do a really, really light neutral eye look today. So first of all, I'm going to go back in with that cream ivory shade I used yesterday, which is called Matter of Fact. Mirror, where's the mirror? Just have to zoom out. I think what I'll do is just do two days, two looks, and then, I mean, I, I would have loved to have used these glitters here. I'm going to see how well this one goes on, and maybe I'll use Indio, this glitter down here, um, if it's not that pigmented. So, yeah, let's go in now with Lalo, this kind of peachy toned one here. And then I want to go in with cutouts, that one there. Another peach tone. I'm going to go in with my Sigma pencil brush. I think the Angam. Sorry about that, the light was flashing, um, so I thought I'd better change it. 
I'm doing a little wing. Yeah, that's about right. So today, I should have been going into Manchester, but I'm just not up for it, guys. So I'm going to be going into town, in my hometown instead, and just having a little look around. It's quite late in the day, actually. And then I'm going to be going out to dinner with my mum. I don't know why, but the left eye always gets patchy. I'm going to... Right, so that seems to have disappeared. I'll use this brush instead then. I'll go in with this accent brush and we'll go in with Blossom. So that one there. Looks pretty pigmented on the brush. I think I'm going to go in with a finger as well. Just tap it on. And I'm leaving some space in the inner corner. For another shade. Um, we'll use the same brush, but wipe that colour off. So now we're going to be going in with Sweet Dreams, which I used yesterday. I'm hoping it's going to look a little bit better than it did with that purple shade. Yeah, because it's a similar colour, it's looking quite nice. Let's spritz it a little bit as well. See if we can get it a bit more pigmented. Yeah, it's definitely becoming more pigmented. do the same with the other shade now I'm gonna put cutouts on the lash line Dang it. Got eyeshadow everywhere. Right, and for the brow bone highlight, I'm going to use this. It's the Miss Sporty Coca Gel Pump Up Booster and Luminous Beige. Then mascara time. 
I still don't know where my other mascara is, so we're just going to put two coats of the Maybelline Total Temptation on. I've got time, I'll pop into Wilco and get a new mascara. <laughs> 